is kind of after now love has been lost and you're kind of contemplating, you're reevaluating things. For me, I'm not someone that processes feelings very well. That's why I come here to a room full of strangers to say some real shit. <laughs> um, thank you. So this poem kind of just um, represents once you start processing your hurt and somebody else's hurt, uh, once your love has been lost. So this is called Growing Pains. <clears throat> You said I sucked all sense from the room as I dared to ponder ideas beyond idle comprehension. Like a hermit crab, traveling from shells of understanding, all the while searching for a long enough pause in this helter-skelter pace we call life, waiting for someone to look in my eyes and go past the layers of lashes, deep inside the intricate swirls of brown, where cityscapes of questions, doubt, and fear reside. Ideas, innovations, inspirations push past their own patience. With no traveler to pick up the trail, it lies forgotten, an overgrown meadow in the woods of my mind, an enigma in time and space. With no name to call it, I settled for abject truth, a phenomenon begun from the departure of youth. You see, I don't know the answers to this onslaught of introspection. I made my time and wishes constructed in surface level, but my coins bounced off the rim of the well. Because upon approach, I saw empty space and heard gravity beckoning me to its bed. You see, physics was never my strong suit, and cohesion was lost upon my understanding. Until the fractals of the kaleidoscope that's me started begging for my company, flung out of space off the train tracks of uninspired human interaction throwing me in endless circles of social convention, hiding behind the hope of connection. So off the train tracks I flew, and with no ground to call my own, I broke open a transformation to become something else. Thank you.